Oh, Sonny, that's fucked up. Turn your head a little. I, I want to be sure to get this. Easy. Sorry. Oh. They took her and tried to find out where the baby is, but... Mm. Well, you said you didn't tell him anything, right? No, I didn't. Good. Good. Sonny, I, I hate to doubt you, but... Why did they let you go if you didn't tell them anything? I don't know why. Maybe they thought that I'd lead them to her. Well, how do we know you didn't lead them to us? You don't have what they want anymore. They don't care about you guys. God, what did they do to you? I'm gonna get some band-aids. Carl was there at first, and he started talking about the principles of the eternal hand and how I had been given the secrets and had jeopardized everything. I told him he was a pawn of the order. What did he say to that? That there was no order, of course. What else is he gonna say? Then he said that everybody knows that you guys are a bunch of crazy conspiracy theory freaks anyway. What? Yeah, like we're the freaks. Oh, cool. Thanks. Yeah. How are you feeling? You sound better. Yeah. You don't really look better, but you sound better. I'm a little dizzy, but better. You feel like talking a little more about it? I mean, because if you don't, we can just do it later. He, he started acting all sweet and gentle with Weird. me, right? Like, told me that I wasn't acting like myself. Hmm. He wanted to know where the baby was that I should just tell them. I told him that I had never been more myself since he's known me. And then he hit you? No. Carl, not him. See, Carl would never. It was some other guy. I've never seen him before. What's he look like? This big guy? Just an or ordinary looking guy. He, um, I don't know. Carl was a little freaked out by him. The guy, before he hustled him out of the room, Carl said, is this really necessary? So he knew then? Yeah. And, and he just let him? Yeah, well, the thing is, the guy said that Carl had more important things to worry about. More important things to... Do you know what more important things he had to worry about? No, you know, I'm getting kind of dizzy. Go inside. Yeah. Mm. Don't look so glum. So I think you were going to tell us about these things that Carl had to do? Well, Carl's part of a new project. I don't know what it is. He, ne he never was allowed to tell me about it. What do you mean he was never allowed to tell you about it? Well, it's a trust thing. The primary relationship in the hem of one is the group, specifically the leaders. You're never attached to one individual, not even if you love them. It's called trusting the divine symphony. Carl, the only thing he ever told me about it was that this project has the opportunity to change the world. Change the world? How? I don't know. I never pressed him. One note in the symphony never cares about what the other note is doing. It just accepts its own song. Okay. Uh, hey, thank you. Um, thanks for talking to us. Then we got work to do. This isn't happening. It's fine. Yeah, all right. Hey, sir. Uh, just don't stop filming. Oh, okay. They kind of hate me, don't they? No, they don't hate you. They're just on this one tracked mind thing because of Emma's code. Emma's sending a code. <laughs> so Sonia's in the bath. She was going to find out about a code anyway, you know? I mean, everybody's talking about it on the forum. What do they think she is, stupid? They probably do. After all, she is female. Anyway, after the guys left, I started talking to her some more. And, um, you know what, I think, uh, I think I found some information that, uh, can get us to Emma another way. It's nothing I can talk about yet, but I'm on a trail. God, I feel like Nancy Drew. Ridiculous. I know. But, anyway, hopefully it'll work out. Oh, and about that birdhouse, you know, that was totally unfair because it isn't even finished yet. It's still not. But I have a lot more important things to worry about than some stupid birds. Anyway. Keep you updated.